Now, there is one more major control to manage working with multicam clips, and that is the angle editor. This up here, this is called the angle viewer. There's another window called the angle editor, and you get to that by double clicking on a multicam clip. So if I double click, click that, you see the timeline gets taken over with a new window. And this is not a timeline. I mean, it's, it's basically is a timeline. It's a variation on a timeline, but it is, it's a special kind of timeline with a bunch of special controls called the angle editor. And I'm going to just, uh, let's just make these things a little smaller so we can see all three tracks at once here. So here you can see the three different layers in my multicam clip. And uh, let's just talk about some of the controls available here in the angle editor. First of all, you see that one of the one of the tracks is gray. If I select, click this little button here at the top, this is changing which angle is gray. And you see that is changing what's going up here in the viewer, but this is not changing the active angle. It's different than the active angle. This is called the monitoring angle. This is specifically for when you're in the angle editor, and it's a little confusing, I guess, but you just you need to think about, you know, when you're working in the angle editor, you're trying to finesse or, or fix the elements in your uh, multicam clip. So it's got nothing to do with viewing the multicam clip in, the, in a project. So again, so some of the specific controls here. First of all, right here at the, the head of the tracks here, there's that little video icon or that monitor icon, and that is how you change the monitoring angle. You can also change the audio monitoring angle. So you see there's a speaker icon, and so I can change which is being monitored, and you notice I can have more than one of those on at a time. And you'll see that that becomes really helpful if you're trying to determine if there's a sync error in your, in your different clips, or you're trying to determine which is the best audio to use or other elements. Now, what do you do here in the, in the angle editor? Well, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can do stuff like you would in a timeline. You can add effects. You can modify the specifics of the clip. You can add transitions. You know, we could edit in here. If you had multiple clips on a single track, which again, you might if you had a camera that stopped and start, right? You might have a section here where, I mean, I'm just going to pretend here if we, you know, we had a, a clip like that there, and I'm going to add another clip in there. And so you see I'm actually just doing some editing here. Right, so let's say I had this situation where I had a gap there, and that was, you know, picking up again in the same, you know, different part of the shot. Uh, you know, you can make changes to any of these elements. You could treat these just like you would in a timeline, but the changes that you're making are changes that are going to affect every instance of this multicam clip. So anything that you do here in the angle editor is going to be is going to appear anytime you use this multicam clip. So if I go back here and you see all these different instances of this clip, well every one of them is going to be updated by changes that we make over here in the angle editor. So I'm going to undo that because we don't actually want that random clip in there. Uh, but so that's the idea here of the angle editor. And there's a few specific things that you can do in the angle editor, like fixing the sync of your uh, the clips if for some reason they're out of sync or changing the order of how they appear in the angle viewer and things like that. And I'll cover those now.